Jefferson may look European, but his Y chromosome tells a different story. It shows that what we look like may not really tell us where we come from. And it raises a question mark over the traditional image of Adam. For centuries, artists have depicted him like this, like a European. For many of us, this is Adam. Michelangelo's famous painting in the Vatican Sistine Chapel. He looks like a beautiful Italian who spends a lot of time in the gym. Did the common ancestor of all men really look like this? The story of Jefferson suggests he could have looked very different. Finally, Wells comes face to face with the man he's been searching for. A new portrait of the common ancestor of every man today. Adam. Without a skull, we can't know for sure what Adam looked like. But a combination of genetic evidence, Bender's forensic skills, and cutting-edge computer software suggest he looks something like this. Thousands of years after the Bible, and hundreds of years after Michelangelo, we have a whole new face for Adam. I like the expression. He's got a very forceful look. You know, he's intent on something, maybe taking over the world. You, know, you begin to get perhaps an insight into why these guys won out and why this guy's our ancestor.